Hello, and welcome back to It'll Do 2. Check it out, extras. We got another option in the main menu. That wasn't here before, because I picked up that. Uh, what did I even pick up? Just like, I know I got the art gallery, but I can't even remember what the item was right now. It's been a while since I played. What with all the holidays and Christmas and whatnot, added on to the fact that I kind of went ham and recorded like four episodes almost in a row because I figured out the puzzle and I really wanted to record that. So I'm gonna have to get used to this game again. But before we check the extras, there was also an update to the, the bug thread in Steam where I posted about the bug where I load my game and then sometimes save and quit and it just freezes on the main menu. There was actually a very helpful individual who could pinpoint what causes that. So now I should be able to not run into that ever, which is great. So it turns out what causes that issue is when you load a game after having duplicated a save file. So if you duplicate a save file, which I did every single time I started recording, just so in case something bad happens, like a blue screen and I lose progress or I lose all the recording fo footage or if I just fuck up and I don't even record in the first place, it's been known to happen, then I can just replay from the point where I ended last time. So I always duplicate my saves, but apparently that's what causes the soft lock. So if you duplicate, then you load, then you save and quit, it will freeze every time. But if you don't, then it won't. So all I have to do is just make a duplicate, quit the game, then relaunch it, and it should be, we should be all good to go. I've already tested it once, unless there's some random stuff that can happen to cause this bug. Could, could happen, but anyway, thanks to that guy, don't even remember what he was called anymore, because that was like a week ago, but very, very helpful, so that should mean I don't have to have like four different video files for one episode, so great. And then extras. We got the gallery option and clearly there's going to be more extras, which is kind of neat because why else would you have an entire extras menu if you only had the gallery? So I think we're going to unlock more options here. Otherwise, it would just say uh, load game, new game options, gallery, if that was the only thing available here. So that's pretty cool. So let's check it out. Do I even like want to see this? Because this is like intro storyboard just basic sketches of the intro and stuff, but title screen. Like, do I even want to really look at this? I feel like maybe I want to look at this when I'm done with the game, because there might be some concept art that for, for characters and areas that I haven't even seen yet. So, yeah, I think, I think I'm actually gonna, that was just a little sneak peek. I'm gonna check out the gallery more when I'm actually done with the game, I think. So, let's jump in. And, well, I'm sorry, my love, but soon, soon, I promise, I won't go into Trash Cave just yet. Now, what is this going to be like? There's so much build-up to this dungeon, it's just going to turn out to be the shittiest fucking dungeon. It's going to be actually trash, right? I bet it's going to happen. But I do want to go around a little bit more and see if I can find my way into that little sliver of map that... I have no entrance to and then there were a couple more things in the ice place that I kind of want to check out too and Let's see. I had a note as well, right? Yeah, I wanted to know if the sunken labyrinth Actually counts as a dungeon if I complete that which I have and then I go and talk to the people in town Will they say new stuff? Uh is this new? I can't even remember. Have you found any secret rooms in the dungeons? We heard Passel mumbling about trying to clear out the sign someone left there a long time ago. I vaguely recognize that. I think I might have read that. Yeah, and I read that. I don't think I read that. This place? Pretty relaxing. No skull nips here. So, is she like... The boss of like a, an undead thing? Maybe the church? The frozen church? Maybe that's her dungeon? And yeah, that's the same curses. Wait, yeah, this is new. If I were on the job right now, I'd show you a thing or two. And the mole girl... Lenny isn't much for fighting. 
wait, have I read this? I can't even remember. I've forgotten the entire game. But someone's got to take care of the place, you know? They got nothing. Yeah, I did read that, because I didn't know if it was... Someone's got to take care of the place, you know? Or, someone's got to take care of the place, you know they got nothing but this job. I don't even know. But yeah, so that was nothing new. And, let me check my notes, glancing over at other screen. Let's see, just one moment. Uh... Yeah, okay, that was it. Now, let's go back to... This place, and... Is it nighttime? No, it's daytime, but is it going to be nighttime? Because I did want to check out that little wisp fella that I never liked. Actually, holy shit, this is loud. I haven't adjusted my, my volume. Don't kill me. Oh, man. It seems like it's daytime. I did want to find the little ghost and follow him, because I don't think it completed last time. I did follow him for a bit, but then he just went into the water, and I think that was because I... It just turned day. And yeah, here's nothing... Wait, this... this cave is a teleport cave. Maybe this is like a... an area that you can only get to through a teleport cave somewhere. That would be kind of neat. That's actually very possible. But I will check around all of the edges just to make sure. Because why not? Man, so quiet here. What happened to the music? And yeah, I gotta remember where the roll button is and stuff. Man, it's been... Feels like it's been weeks and weeks, but it hasn't been that long. So now I'm right here. It could be... It doesn't really... Oh! Didn't know he did that when you were going back. Yeah, and that's the same as in the general forest area. Ow! No? Ah! I found it! Or I found something. I did not find it. Damn, that was just a, another secret, but still. Found this one. Um. Ah! Didn't even see that. Okay. So we have to put those two out. Okay. And... The problem is I need all of the blocks. So I can't just, like, push this one down. Oh! No, I get it. You just do this. And that. And then you push this one in here. And then this one over here. And then you can put that one out. There we go. Not too bad. Secret shard. Amazing. How many of those do we have now? 20! Fantastic. Haven't found any other places beyond the secrets or a sunken cave, though. Sunken Labyrinth, I mean. So yeah, that was nothing. I'm gonna head back up here. Also, this song actually reminds me a little bit of uh, Dust Force. I wonder if that was a... Uh, a conscious inspiration, or if it's just like, it just randomly has the same sort of sound. Especially when that little... boopy, mellow, ambient sound pops in. I don't even know how to explain it. Okay, so it doesn't seem like anything is here. Right. Let's just follow the right side here as much as I can. Can't go there. And this is just a random teleport cave, I'm pretty sure. No. Wait. This is a cave that isn't complete. I haven't been in here. Why have I not been in here? Damn it, I keep doing that. Yeah! There we go! I just hadn't gone in there, I guess. Huh. 
Damn it. Ah, fuck. Yeah, that doesn't really help. Oh man, when they're in a corner, it's so bullshit. What what can I do here? I I can't I can't hit him. There we go. Jeez. Okay, that's fine. Kind of. And then a green star. Whoa. Whoa! Calm down! Holy shit! That was scary as fuck! Okay, and it's a... It's an alternate world. What are these even called? Former Colossus. Oh, I see. Wait, I thought they were called... Ow! Titan. If it's the, the thing I'm thinking of. Maybe it's not. Right, I can just, like, shoot them once. That's much easier. I don't want to read that. I didn't read it, I swear. I don't want to know, because that seemed to just be, like, letting you know what to do in the area, which I don't want to know. I want to figure it out. Something about lighting torches, which I could have just figured out on my own. Oh, man. This guy's bad. Just keep spamming. This should be fine. Yep, there we go. Another one. Keep spamming. Whoa! Oh! Are those like ice shots? So you can lure other enemies into those ice shots and then they'll be frozen and you can just like hit them? Maybe that means the ice wand will be making a comeback. That does seem quite likely. Because why else would they put in a freezing effect? Well, I mean, there's many reasons, but still, Ice Wand was pretty fucking great. Okay, so I assume we just need to, like, take it and light all these, but maybe there's a specific timer to it, and I can't just do it in whichever order. Or maybe that was just it. You have to, like, clear each little section just so you can go in and light it. Can I just go here? Instead of going... Oh. Back to the torch. No, can't reach it from there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. It's a dynamite! Blow stuff up. Can be frozen with ice attacks. Oh, dear. So that's on triangle. Holy shit! Okay, and you can only have one at a time? Interesting. And can be frozen with ice attacks. So I guess you can, like, place one down and... Oh. Oh. That's pretty cool. Okay, so you can sort of do it in from range, but it's very weak in terms of the knockback. Interesting. Okay, what does Tipsy say here? Oh, I missed it. Well, I guess you'll have to read it in the video. For some reason, all the ruins on this island look li look the same to me. Couldn't hurt to take a closer look, though. Sure. That's really interesting. So, I can just, like... Oh, wrong key. I can just... Place one here. Nope. AoE is not that big. AoE is really not that big. And yeah, you can't have more than one at a time. I wonder how much damage it does, though. There's not really any way to gauge that. But, for example, can dynamite just go through these shields? If I just do that, no, he can still block it. But I can place one here, then make him turn away from it. Uh, easier said than done. There we go. Well, it one-shot him, so it's at least two hits. Not that that means too much. Huh. Cool stuff. And a little thing here. Oh! Another shard dungeon. Interesting. Wait, hold on. I didn't check what Tipsy said. 
it's probably just the same, like, sword nip message as before, but let's make sure. Yeah. Oh! Oh, right! I had a damage power-up. I didn't even realize. I was wondering why I was one-shotting them. Wait, and I didn't even go in here either? I just went in here and didn't go through? What the hell was I smoking when I did this? And I have one more, two more caves I haven't been to. So I guess we'll just go do that as well. So how do I get to this place? I need to get there. So I need to go around. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, right there. All right. So just like that. Oh. Oh, of course. Well, that's really easy. All right. That was weird. And now... Oh, what's that? That is definitely something. What is up here? Why is this here? What the hell? This has to be something, but I don't know what. Huh. Dynamite! Please dynamite! No. I wonder if that's gonna be a thing we need to do now, like try to blow stuff up? Could be. It seems like most of them you can just hit with a stick though. But there's another opening here we haven't been to. Oh, hi. I'm magical, baby! You sure are. Nice hat. It's an outfit. Sweet. All right. Well, sorry, little dude. You've served your purpose. Let's let's go check out another outfit. Seems like there's a lot more, though, that I just haven't, like, uncovered on the map yet. And I didn't see how to get to the top right. Oh, wait! That is, yeah, that is with a secret dungeon. So I do have to go through the... The, uh, the thing. The teleport cave to get there. Damn, thought I rolled that. Damn it. I wonder if you can get power- oh, did I seriously not go in here? I guess I didn't. How am I missing all these things? I feel like that's gonna be a cave scroll. So I think I am going to wait with that, since we're nearing the end of the the uh, episode anyway. I'll just leave it here, and then before next time, I'll just go back here, control check if it's a cave scroll, and if it is, I'll just leave it, and if not, I'll just show you what it is. So, I just- oh right, let's not- damn it. Ah, oh, I didn't read it. I just want to have at least more than one cave scroll for the end of the game. I got so rich off my art, I got a house with four beds, but I can't sleep in them all, the, all at the same time. Is this life, I ask you? Is this the irony of success? And then you can just destroy them. Well, he needs one bed, but I guess not. Wow, once again, violence has solved all my problems. It's true. Violence is pretty convenient. And yeah, I'll leave that, and we'll see next time what it is. So, oh, and that means, yeah, it's actually still showing that I have stuff to do in there, which is nice. So now, I wish there was, right, you can do this. Wow, why did it take me back here? That is so weird, I... I guess it's like based on those world platforms, like when you enter a new entire area and those... Uh, did I say platforms? I meant portals. I think those portals sort of count as going to an entirely separate area. So right now, I would probably still... Okay, for science, I would probably still teleport to the exact same gate. Yes. 
but then if I teleport back to town and then teleport back here and use it again, I would teleport here to the, the warp pad because I just entered the new dungeon. I think, or not dungeon, but area. I think that's how it works. Maybe. So in that case, it is pretty good. I just have to know how it works. So now if I do it, I'm back here. All right, cool. And if I do it here, I will be back right here. All right, so as I said, it's like when you enter a new zone, that's your point of return. That's actually very convenient to know. All right, let's go... Right, was it here? No, it's bottom left. Let's go and check out that new swanky looking outfit. Looked like a weird sailor kind of thing. Red and white. Yeah, I guess... Is it like a prisoner? Yeah, I guess it's a prisoner. Prison ill. Sure. Oh my god! Holy shit. I guess it's not a prisoner. It's like... I mean, that looks like a prison chain on her ankle. Is that supposed to be... Oh! Is that supposed to be like a locker room key for swimming? I don't know if people do that elsewhere in the world, but in Sweden, whenever you go to like a uh, swimming hall, whatever they're called, a bathhouse, I no clue, and you you order, you like get a locker for your stuff, and you get a key with a rubber band, and then you put that around your ankle or wrist or whatever, and then you won't lose it while you're swimming, and no one can break into your stuff. So, that might be it, and it's just meant to be, uh, like, a swimsuit costume for both Idle and, and Tipsy. Maybe? Yeah, I think that is it. Like, Tipsy has one, too. Wow, this tent is bigger on the inside. Same, same there. And cutscene, of course. Alright, let's hit the beach, and everything on the beach. I'm not nearly healthy enough to go outside like this. Nice. Alright, it's a swimsuit game now. And yeah, again, I could have, like, teleported back here right when I exited, because I show up right here, because this is where I enter the... the zone. Very cool. That is very convenient. Oh, man. Walking around in fucking bathing suits up here. This is horrible. Interesting, so enemies can inflict status effects on themselves or on each other as well because of friendly fire so that's good to know so now i think the last thing i want to do is wait for nightfall but before we wait for nightfall i might as well try to go southeast but i guess you come there from like a cave and where would i find that cave I don't really see any other area that I haven't explored too much. Somewhere there should be, maybe not even in this area, there should be a cave leading to the southeast of this place. I'm just gonna do this and reset her aggro. Not that it matters, because she'll just... No, okay, she's gone. Good. Can I go, like, clockwise through these? Apparently not. And yeah, there's two teleport caves, but I did go through both of them, right? I think so. Hmm. Yeah, I already found that. Oh, I wonder why the ocean looks so different on this side of the island. Does it? I guess it does. Yeah, it's like the same ocean as the, the beach, but it's cold and bitter and harsh, maybe. And yeah, that's not a teleport cave. I think it's turning night. So let's make our way back to the the graveyard. And just at the very end here, we'll just quickly... Oh man, this is a long episode. 
or longer than normal. We just have to wait around for the little wisp. Should be showing up any second now. Yeah, there it is. All right, let's see. Now I'm like right at the beginning of night, so it should still be night when it gets to that point that we were at. Yeah, it continues. Nice. Ow. Maybe this is the uh, teleport cave. Maybe it'll unlock... Oh, God. Unlock the cave that will take us to the bottom right. Perfect. Get in here, quick. Oh, the guy was going to show up as well. No, it's just a puzzle. All right. Well, I think I'm going to leave it here for today and just check out that, that cave, or not cave, the house with a chest that we found, so... I'll make my way back here. Well, I'll show you that first. And if it's a, well, I won't if it's a cave scroll. If it's a cave scroll, I'll just show up here. If it's not a cave scroll, I'll show you what's in the chest. So, thank you for watching this episode. Good to be back now that Christmas is all over and all that stuff. Not that it affected the channel schedule at all, but we'll continue on next time as always. Bye-bye.